Hi there guys, today's video is a flip through of the new uh, Gugeli, I think is right, book. Um, this is Colourful Time. Um, I do have Gugeli's other book, which is, if I pull it off of the shelf, um, Find Colour. And there is a flip through on my channel, I believe. If I can find it, I will link it in the box down below. Um, so the new version is in this beautiful um, green and cream. I had to get mine from Book Depository was where I saw this um, and it's such an amazing um, deal for the book size and in today's delivery world <laughs> the fact that you can get this for £20 in the UK with no delivery charge is quite frankly a miracle. So let's get on with it. We've got this quite thick um, kind of watercolour-esque type of paper I think this is is this going to open out something's going to happen there we go um we've got this uh, large it's a four panel fold out piece move you along um I'll be honest to effectively work from that I think you would need to remove it from the book um, moving on, I think I'm going to have to break the spine of my book. Bear with me. Oh, painful. Um, to actually be able to work through this. Right. Okay. There we go. So it's, um, it is a sewn binding, so it should stay in one piece at least. And then we get into the pages. So like I say, it's got this gorgeous, thick, kind of watercolour, sort of um, textured cardstock. And we get... It's just a shame some of these are, you know, same with their books. Um, we do enter straight through the middle of the book, but, you know... You're getting probably one of the most beautiful sketchbooks. The pages are numbered. this you may get fed up with colouring her by the end though I think beautiful the faces the grayscale faces in these books The problem is that the cardstock's so thick, this might actually be a difficult <laughs> spine to deal with. There we go. Getting a bit flatter as we go. I think you've just got to keep working at it. Right, I think I found the centre. Let's give everything a push flat. <laughs> This would keep you busy now. <laughs> Beautiful. I 
and I love how they feel like they're two separate pictures and yet they, they are in the background of her picture. Um, really beautifully done. too many pages <laughs> right um so i believe this will be um one of these is a poster which oh, opens from the other side which it really is a shame because it's a matte finished poster which is beautiful but obviously, once it's been folded in this way, um, it's pretty much useless <laughs> as a print. Um, whether there's anything you can do about that, I'm not sure. Might have a go. Um, but beautiful print. And then the other really interesting thing that you get that I'm rather keen on although how useful it actually is I don't know but you get the little thumbnails of the pictures and they're all numbered for reference like how much fun is that um so let's fold you back up I'm gonna pull those out of the book for now and we will continue on we are already on page 75 here. Crazy. This is definitely the kind of book that would see you through the next few years. Look at these. Beautiful. I was going to say that's a shame and yet clearly the artist intended um, these faces to be split that this way so there's some interesting themes in this book Wow. Um, the back cover gives you a little goldfish. You've got the little um, book cover on there as well. And that is Google is Colourful Times. What a gorgeous book. Um, just just stunning to be honest um, definitely glad to have that in my collection even if I am too chicken <laughs> to colour the pages that's the kind of art book that um, I just like I just feel the need to have um, is my problem so yeah I hope this was useful guys as always I will see you in the next one happy colouring